right, so I must sort out my water. Another sunny day. I need to get someone on the water, that is for damn sure. So, 2.75 to 4. And she's the same. Oh, she's 4 to 6. Scavenging's 51. Look at that. So, yeah. Sickness state of patience by 14 to 24. And lower injury state of patience by 14 to 24. Cool. Can we could bandage. We could cure potion. That's cool. Or sickness and injury by 7 to 12. Well, he needs to get rid of both. He needs a medic. Six to ten. Oh, it gives us a healing plant's buggeration. Okay, good rune. Right, crafting plan. Where are we then? Uh, I think we need something else food wise. So that's what we need to look for. Do that. Uh, right. Food, 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 food. You can pot. Make proper news, you need a proper cooking pot. Camp. Fishing camp, cooking pot. So out of who's left, she'll, she's got 10 in her crafting, wonderful, but it's her, him, or her, and she's even worse, so looks like it's her. What do the other two need? Nothing. And he can do stuff before he goes to. The scavenging sucks that. Oh, no, harvesting. 36. We need more fruit than we need anything else, so. And she can go and. Do our usual. Let's go. Oh, 
Nice. Just the eight second. Of course you're going to get another. Knives guys, times two and a drunkard. If you get seven. Oh my! Crack over zero. What? Explain yourself. <laughs> and then he moves himself to the front. Tested it, what punk? Ah, uh, right, okay. Where's the enemy, Lero? Don't get you, game. Do not get you at all. Off herself, try and make sure she doesn't take any damage. Dare go after her. Still fine. <laughs> so was the game thinking we were all in the front row the last time? Or is it just because we were all in technically the front row because we were all in the same row? That might be it. Okay, cool. What's dropped in oh, water supplies? Better repair that up. What's our two new areas then? Ah, oh, yeah, we had that long ship as well. Forgot about that. Pickering seagulls. Approaching the shore, you hear the chant of seagulls. Three of them are fighting over something, half buried in the sand. Can I attack them, or can I distract them? Hunting. I 
might be because you're hungry, but instead of seeing three beautiful girls, you see three roasted birds on legs. Or maybe because you love that dish. Here's your bow. Oh, come on! Notch an arrow and aim at the birds. It's hard because they move too much. Is it bigger? Wait for the right moment and release the arrow. It impales one bird. His two companions jump off surprised, but soon they decide it's no big deal. And start eating the bird you just pinned to the ground. You stare at the scene flabbergasted. Those birds, no shame. Good press to have wasted a good arrow to feed those nasty carnival birds. Yeah, I'm fine to try it again. Just do it again. There we go. Impales two birds. Two birds with one arrow? You're amazed by your skill. Nice. That went from 63 to 69. That was not plus one. <laughs> Four raw meat. Nice. Third one flight. The third one was dead. Continuity error. Come on. Or one flies away squawking in fear, you happily trot towards your kills and retrieve some meat along with what the birds were fighting over. Okay. The next new area, a fishing spot. You see juicy little fish swirling on the water surface here. Who knows what lured them specifically here. Just know that they make an easy target. Fishing. Uh, he's our best fisher, so knock yourself out. Cash a line and brace yourself to spend the rest of the day waiting for fish to nibble on the bait. That's what you thought, it bit right away. As if these dumb fish were literally jumping into your cooking pot. Yeah, reel in. You reel the fish in, it's big and shiny, you can't wait for tonight's dinner. Catch some fish. Stealth and agility. Let's get him and go into it. Jump in the river where you can touch the bottom and stand still. Wait for fish to approach. You spot one large enough, and when it's near enough, you leap towards the fish. Good news is you didn't hurt yourself in the process. Bad news is that all the fish swam away because of all the swirls you made. Well, at least you had fun. Again. I didn't get any of that time. Nice up. Fresh water. You don't think twice as you quickly strip and jump in the river. That's that's grim. That stripping. Feels good, albeit colder than expected. Where's the water bed? Take a deep breath and dive. The water is rather clear. On the bottom you spot several rocks and algae stuck in the mud. Small fish too. If you disturb the mud, something shiny catches your eye. You grasp it and swim back up. Your wet break was productive after all. Yes, more ancient knowledge. Back to camp. Right, so you need to do more potable water, thanks. Um, you probably need to not do that. Uh, he still needs to get rid of that. Uh, she could do a sleep. Since her crafting is now terrible. I need to. I need to carry on. Um. And carry on harvesting. What else is she good at again? She's already at scavenging and mining. Oh, but she hates scavenging. Great! Ah, 
she just needs to carry on with that. Yep, same again. Halfway, that's fine. That is fine, Moira. Absolutely fine. Crap, is that my max energy? Try and be a bit more stealthy. Yeah, so as if everyone's in the same role. Knives guy or plunderer. Hmm. Really? Syrian. Oh no, just one. Cool. Oh dear. Good. Really? Come on, mate. One or two injury each night. Uh, some milk, some more fabric, and some more crack meals. Right. Well, we need to sort out our water.
So we've got eight. Crap. I actually could have done with some rain. <laughs> Never thought I would say that. So we've got enough for the tribute tomorrow. We're about to go through all of it. We're going to have probably use seven. See what this new area gives us. A sleeping snake. Like snakes sleeping peacefully on a few wood sticks, some sort of snake bed, you suppose. You notice a few flasks stuck into its coil. Kill a snake? Really? You approach the piece carefully not to wake it up. Do that. Hey! Take a solid stick nearby and approach the snake. You poke it out without waking up. He's furiously attacks the stick, knocking down the bottle shoved in its coil in process. You stay focused. The snake is curling up the stick in one swift moment. You slide behind the beast and cut its head off. Wow, you're surprised at your own prowess. Also a bit disappointed there was no one watching. Gonna make a great story tonight. More mate! Us! No, I didn't get the bottles. Oh well. So, meat. Meat's good. Let's end this day then. Why'd you call yourselves brothers and sisters, by the way? Sounds stupid to me. Imagine you're poor, alone, with no family. Doing it there every night. Servants of God like me will come to you and help you in any way we can. As if we were real brothers and sisters. There are no boundaries to the love of God. You would even help your enemy? A murderer or a rapist? Only God can judge human souls. We must not judge them ourselves. In the end, the saved will ascend to heaven and the lost will descend to the depths of hell. Heaven? Is it like Asgard? Or Valhalla? Hmm. Heaven is the most beautiful place, the city of God. After you pass away, you followed God's teachings, your soul is saved, wanders freely for eternity alongside God and the angels. In eternal peace, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Amen. What did you do just now? Oh, that's the sign of the cross. So you pray to God. Wow, okay, I thought you were cursing me or something. Quite the contrary, Lady Carrie. Quite the contrary. Hey! And if I had said the other, you get Bet your arse it would have done massively negative, uh, massive negatives. Okay, so we're dealing with four, so we need to make sure we get eight tomorrow. Then you can get anything extra. Next. Okay, lots of food to be given out here. can get the good ones. <laughs> I just ignored the 90. Great. percent that in between one and two of that.
I mean, I really don't want it to turn it into a five. I'd rather just use it. I saw that. Rather just use it all, get everyone to a decent level. Seventy-three. What? That's because they're over here, I'm assuming. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. That'll do. Finally, hunger levels are actually all right. Coughing at you, Jesus. And that was Dead in Finland. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to stick around for more, don't forget to click that subscribe button. It's quite enjoyable. I plan to do plenty more of it. For now, I've been Beardos. This has been, as previously mentioned, Dead in Vinland. You take it easy, have a good day. Adios.